Okay, so this is it. This is the deck build that obviously got us the diamond. Anyway, we've got double dark magician, triple magician souls, triple maxi, triple magician's rod, triple ash, magnumut, druis, baldrake. We have Fenrir, double unicorn, Tamias, two visual rebellions, a Nibiru, an illusion of chaos, half feather duster. You don't necessarily need to run heavy storm, but I threw it in just in case. We have two Dark Magical Circle, Branded Regained, Cash to Rebirth, Double Super Poly, Double Cool Buy, Double Soul Servant, Secrets of Dark Magic, Double Evenly, Double Infinite Permanence, and Eternal Soul. Uh, in the extra deck, we have Garura, Starving Venom. You could add Mud Dragon. Initially, I did. Um, potentially, we will see. Uh, but yeah, we've got Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, Dark Magicians, Yabel, because everyone's running Yabel like crazy. Baron, Cheng Ying, Chaos Angel for Dark Magician and Magician's Rod. We have Big Eye, Red Eyes Flare, Metal Dragon, Zeus, Typhon, Link Spider, just in case you need to get rid of your Dark Magician to be able to play into SP Little Knight, and then Artemis, the Magistus Moon Maiden. But anyways, let's dive in, see how well we play. There is the uh, toy box engine you could potentially go with, but if you don't have materials, you, I suppose you could persevere with the deck I've got, but it all comes down to how you fancy it and stuff. But anyway, let's get into our first duel of Diamond. If we're going to try and push Master, which this guy's about to promote. Every, t mate, every time I play ranked, they are likely to promote, and it's crazy. Uh, we'll go second because we have Super Poly, we have Evenly, we have many outs to their plays. Depending on what we're playing up against. I don't really know how I'm going to counter Ice Barrier if I come across it. Yavel, obviously, we could Super Poly, but then we have to worry for their Super Poly. Um, Ash, Infinite Permanence, Magician's Rod. Okay, then this is cool. Maxi would have been nice, but hey. Who's, who's to say it won't work? Okay. What are we playing up against is the bigger question above everything. Because we do have the Infinite Permanence. We have the Ash. Um, okay, so Tillamance Kashtira, Vanishing, ugh, okay, we have Infinite and Permanence, this is good, uh, we're going to be honest, I'm going to Infinite and Permanence just in case they have um, Triple Tactics, I've been seeing it a lot whenever I play Ash, so we shut that down, preferably I would hope they don't have, mm, they could have Havness in hand, or if they had Rhino, they would have normal summon Rhino first. I don't think they've got anything to go off of. Um, we do... Okay, they have Medora. A fair. And then one face down. Could be a tier element negation or monster effect negation. So... <clears throat> okay. This is actually a really solid play. Right, we're going to go Illusion of Chaos. Bay out a potential Ash. Alright, sick. Uh, we're going to go Magician Souls. And then we will return... Uh, ah, return to Tunnel Soul. Right. I'm going to special summon the Unicorn. I'm going to try and bait out the negation if they've got anything down here. So, go with the Unicorn. Negation. Negation Trap. I don't know if it's called Crime or... I can't remember the name of it. Nothing. Okay. Initially, I did run Spell Card Monster Reborn, but the only problem is it just becomes so useless for me. It was like, oh. Like, i got a feeling that would be Infinite and Permanence. They probably would want an Infinite and Permanence here, because if not, I'm going to go Dark Magician. They do have... Oh, they could play off Medora. Now that does become a problem. Okay. I'm going to go Dark Magical Circle. If I can get Dark Magician to hand off this, we can go Birth off of it. Uh, okay. Somehow Eternal Soul returns back to me, but... Hey, whatever. Uh, we'll go Magna first. And then... I'm think. Hmm... Medora is going to be the problem here, anyway. So, the only thing I'm thinking is, I go 
this. <clears throat> They're going to want to trigger off Madora now, but we'll still get Magician Soul off anyway, so we're, we're, we're okay. And then we'll banish the Tillamon monster. Worst case scenario, they're going to trigger off Medora. Okay. Doesn't mean I can't attack directly this time, but it's fine. Medora. We'll be forced to activate it here. Okay, that's fine. Shuffle back the... Uh, it could go for the three monsters. It's the only thing it's really got to go for. Okay. From what they're looking at, they're looking very, like, tr trapped, to be honest. Okay, so just gone for Magician's Rod. Alright. We could... If we had enough... Ooh. No, we're fine. We're fine for the time being. Oh, man, we're cooking. The only downfall we have, mostly, is the fact that... What are the chances of that one card in hand being the Buru in the Tillament deck? I can't imagine that being the case. And send Dark Magician. And then we special summon Dark Magician. I want to pop the back card, but the Tillament is more important because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, if it's sent to the graveyard, it can basically mill for two. So we're going to banish the Tillament monster. If that is a negation, they would activate it now. <gasps> that hurts. That hurts, man. That hurts so much. Ow. Wow. It's fine. We've got Eternal Soul. Oh, man, we're cooking. Oh, wait. You don't have... You don't have a Stab and Venom. What? Who runs Super Poly without the Stab and Venom? <gasps> That's crazy. That is crazy. The good thing about you bringing out a monster is, one, I can now banish. But let's check the extra deck. See what we got. All right, never mind. Maybe next time. Okay, second duel. Uh, We're going to whip this on real quick. Uh, we're going to hit off the Max C. Worst case scenario, they have Gamma. Eternal Soul is becoming a fan favorite in my hand, and I don't want that to be the case. <clears throat> so, Pot of Prosperity. Eee. I don't know what decks run Prosperity. It could be... Ah, oh, Ice Barrier. Alright. This guy's got a lot of royals. Did he just have double royal there? I don't think it's going to show me, is it? Is it just standard card? Yeah. I'm pretty sure... I don't know. Well, we have Super Poly. Cool by the Grave. I suppose Cool by the Grave could help if we're dealing with... Um, Potentially the Ice Barrier Synchro Monster, which is a pain in the ass. So we can Super Poly, discard Eternal Soul, call by the Grave the Synchro Monster. And then... All depends. It's good we got Maxi off, but it's all questionable to how they're going to play this. Are they going to play into the Maxi or just end their turn? Okay. Okay, add yourself a Spell or Trap. So when it's out of you can add one of your Ice Jade monsters that is banished from your grave to your hand. And if you're normal special, you can take one more monster control along. If any other face monster opponent currently controls, lose the attack equal to that. Okay, Cosmochula, no. The Druis, okay. No dark, though. This is where the Bestial package does not benefit me at all. If you control a warp monster, your opponent controls a monster on the field. Take one eyeshade monster in a deck and you can special. If I face up eyeshade monster leaves because the opponent's card effect, you could banish this card and take one card to your opponent controls and banish it. 
Alright, fair. Whoa. Manifestation's pretty fucking solid, mate. I ain't gonna lie. Wow. I feel like we want to save the Super Poly, though. But if I go Unicorn, could add... All right, okay. We, we hold on to the Super Poly. We're not going to dive into it yet. We'll cook up a board. The fact I didn't get any, like, Magician Rod or Souls or anything just hasn't helped. Okay. We did initially used to run Theosis, but... Yeah, doesn't help. We're gonna normal summon. Tribute Unicorn. Bring our Magnum up. That's a bit cash to rebirth. Bro, I'm clutching at straws here, man. Alright. That's a bit cash to rebirth. Bring back Unicorn. I think Eternal Soul might be my drop card here. Yeah, it, might, it will have to be. It will have to be. Okay. Play that face down. It's a shame you, there is no card that can, like, really banish spell and traps. Similar to the way Cool Buy does in terms of, like, monsters and that. Activate Unicorn. Show me what you... If... Ah, okay. Interesting. Preferably we want to wait for their boss monster to come out. Fine. What did we work, man, bro? This guy cooking. Well, technically, most of these uh banish that. Mate, that's gonna be the vital key for him, man. Whoa. Now we can trigger the effect of Cash Zero Birth. One, two, three. There we go. Don't have to worry. I'm not going to continue to attack. Main phase two. <laughs> okay. This is good. We don't have to worry about the card activating the grave now, so we can super poly off their monsters, seeing how this really plays out, to be honest. But yeah. Worst case scenario is Magnumut goes to the graveyard. We can play off Juris, and if Juris goes to the grave, then obviously we can play that. The discard, one Ice Jade. For when we charge to what is you can banish this card and special summon an Ice Jade from your hand in the graveyard. I don't know, whatever. Okay. Alright, so we're going to play into a 10. We need to get rid of it. What are we looking at? That's the tuna. That special summon. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go super poly. Scarred Eternal Soul. Go into Garura. I'm going to go one. And. Oh. Who's more of a pain? The problem is, if you bring out a seven, you've still got that as a token, but you need to have a tuna. You, I don't. If I have my hand. Oh, is on the field. Once your opponent controls, cannot activate their effects to turn they are summoned. Oh, shit. Get rid of that then. I didn't mean to put it there. My mouse wouldn't move. I was supposed to put it on the further end, but alright, whatever. Okay. Problem is, you say it's Dark Magician, but it's not. It's kind of orientated around other stuff. But in today's. Okay, this is good. Man, we're cooking. We're, we're prepared. We've got every card in preparation here, man. He's going to target a card in the grave, trigger the effect special summon we call buy. Leaves him with one link, mate. We basically get game next turn. All right, cool buy. 
vanish. Unless I have a special summon in hand, but we'll see. I'm going to trigger Unicorn. And then I can banish... I'm going to get rid of this big Trishula dude. Ladies and gentlemen. We cooking, man. We cooking. I love it. I love it when a good plan comes into motion. Another duel where we don't win the coin toss, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Let's go. Raw. Alright. This is pretty bloody good. Depends. Oh, is this lab? I, I will always struggle against lab. It doesn't matter how many times I play. My eternal soul in the hand again. What the f? Alright. There's no ash for the gamma, but hey, you can special summon. It's all good. Last mid plant in a nib. Nibbity nib. They could go Omega and rip a card, though. It's, it's strange to see someone have Gamma because you don't see it often. Oh, Rescue Ace. Alright. We are going to have to nib on the Turbulence. We're going to wait. Second Turbulence hits the board, we nib. We'll turn it off for the time being so he doesn't see it coming. The SP. Okay. I could go Bestial, Magnumut. See, this is... It's okay, but it's not massively needed. I just need you to play one more card. Depends on how they go. If they... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Can they go Chaos Angel off of that? Because I'm pretty sure you can use one monster. Hmm. Well, that's kind of annoying. You having Promethean, but I'm just going to nib now. Yeah, nib it Not yet. Not yet. Oh, man, I knew. I had a f oh, I should have stuck with my guns, man. Should have stuck with my guns. Man, we're looking at multiple negates here, man. This is going to be a problem. Especially if they have Hydrant. Oh, I got nervous and I nipped too early. I should have waited for Turbulence, like I said. Uh, we get four back row now. Wait, what? Why would you not get the traps first? Mm-hmm. That may there must be Okay, so now obviously getting rid of Turbulence, you can now pop a card on the field. Oh, you're going to special summon Turbulence back. Genius. Ah, oh, that's... Uh, yeah. I should have waited. I should have waited. That's cost me the duel. That early nib is going to bite me in the ass. Mate, Eternal Soul being in my starting hand every single duel is, like, the one card you do not want in your hand. You know. And you may be wondering why I don't run the field spell. Um, one, because you have to run Dark Magician. And two, I, don't, I just don't think Eternal Soul's massively great. You know, especially when you're running other engines with the deck as well. You know, if that Eternal Soul says bye-bye, similar to obviously Fire King's Island, you basically lose all your monsters. And it's just, in my opinion, it's not worth the stress. Oh, Nightmare Phoenix. Okay, I don't know why they went into Nightmare Phoenix. Surely you'd want to play into Masquer Arena. I suppose they wanted Promethean in the graveyard to be able to pop. 
which is fine because I'm going to add Druus. Although, I think Bistiola Velion might be a better shout. Yeah. Because then we can... E yeah. It's, it's, it's a difficult one. That's... That's not good. I can go Typhon, but then you have back row negation, which basically locks me out of a lot. I won't do that. I'm pretty sure you have a negation as well. Okay. We'll go Baldrake. I don't know. I don't know how to play around this, man. My nib too early cost me. It really did. I should. I. I just got paranoid. I got a little anxious. We've got anything? You're all f okay. Now I can go Baldrake. We banish the Gamma. Okay. Bing bang, boom. Soul, special summon, brings out the Dark Magician. Promethean. Yeah, target the Phoenix, target the Baldrake. Smart, well played. Well played indeed. Right, now we special summon the Bissual Lebellion. The, th the problem I've got is he has negation. No matter what we do here, the negation is what costs me. It's going to screw me. But it does force me to play a card, but then they still benefit. Worst case scenario is what I'm going to do, they trigger off... Th Fair. Fair. You know, last duel, I had what I needed. Okay, now they're going to basically special summon... Which brings out a fire hydrant. Tribute the turbulence. Negate the abelion. Okay. And I'm going to do this. Bring out the typhon. They're going to target. I think they can take control. Yeah, there's the negation. And no, no, that's destruction. There is a negation card as well. But yeah. But the only thing that sucks is now I'm attacking Hydrant. They could go with. Because um... what is it? Special summon from the graveyard. It's add a rescue weight. Obviously, that's the additional weight. You got destruction, negation, and then there's something else as well. I can't remember the other effect for it. I am a Tom. Mm -mm. Okay, so Ace Lifter triggers the effect. We're going to go infinite and permanence. We're going to shut down that lane and the air lifter's effect, being able to add a spell card. The cross out. This guy's got everything. Wow. Okay. Uh. I got nothing. The only thing I could do is have it attack, trigger the trap, special summon Dark Magician. That's... But the problem I've got here is now you can add a spell card, which would be Rescue Ace HQ, which you can put, take. Uh, you can target four of your Rescue Ace cards that are banished and in the grave, shuffle them in the deck, draw one card. There we go. Return all four. And then pick up a card. Mate, if he pulls into something to bring back uh, the, 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 the Turbulence. Oh no, you can use Promethean. Of course. 
Oh, shit. Well, that sucks. Because now you've got all the back row again. I completely forgot that Promethean had the special summon aspect to it. Shucks. I... I'm just wondering, if I had nibbed when the turbulence came out, what situation I would have been in. I think I would... Yeah. I think if we nibbed the second turbulence hit the board, we may have been okay. Because none of this back row would have existed. I just... I jumped the gun. Unfortunately, that's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. You activate a little too early, and it's like, God oh, damn. It, it is what it is. All right. Salomon Great Raging Phoenix. Nothing to Eternal Soul yet. Into Zilantis. Hmm. Zelantis back to board. I always, I, I never knew what Zelantis did, but obviously I was like, what's the point banishing and then just bringing them back? But it's because of its second effect. During the battle phase, you can destroy cards on the field up to the number of co link monsters on the field, which is really cracked, to be honest. Promethean. A go if he goes for. Ba uh, okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, wow, that's what... Uh, Eternal Soul will do nothing. What the fuck? Bruh, this guy cooking, man. Rah! Damn. Oh, yo, I'll tell you what, I haven't seen Rescue Ace pop off yet. Yeah? But to be honest, for me, it, it it's, it's similar to my Dark Magician build here. I don't believe it's technically that build. Because you run everything else. But yeah. In a game of pure, I think Rescue Ace would be trash. To be honest, Dark Magician would be as well. But I don't know. If it was pure v pure, I think Dark Magician would outbeat whatever we're playing up against. Questionable. But yeah.